Okay, ready? One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to Emerald Claim Circuit Palace. Yeah, one more time. What? <laughs> Welcome to Avril Claim Service. Welcome to Avril Claim Service. In this video, Taylor Jones from Eberl Claims Service will walk you through what Eberl looks for in a new applicant, their onboarding process, how to say Eberl, and what gets her out of bed in the morning. Starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. And thanks to Hayden from YouTube who says, I'm extremely interested in this occupation. How would you recommend I begin my journey in this field? Well, how do we begin any journey, Hayden? With a single step. Get your home or designated home state license and seek out the highest quality adjuster training that you can afford. And thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into this video though, I wanna quickly tell you about an incredible service called Schedule It. With Schedule It, you can route your claims, build your schedule based on parameters you set, contact your insureds, and this is a huge one for me, update your activity diary on all major IA estimating platforms automatically. <laughs> Setting up and calling your new claims, especially on a big hurricane event, takes at least a full day. A day you could be out in the field closing claims and getting checks into insurance hands. Improve your cycle time, improve your customer service metrics, and earn money faster on CAT with Schedule It. Evero Claim Service has been around a long time. And if you're an IA, you've probably heard of them or even worked for them. And for the record, it's Eberl Claims Service, not Eberl or Eberl's or Eberly, Eberl. I visited Eberl's Dallas training facility for a tour, met the Dallas team, and chatted with Taylor Jones about all things Eberl. And here's Taylor. My name is Taylor Jones, and I am the Vice President of Shared Service with Eberl Claims Service. Eberl Claims Service was founded in 1987. We are a company that is focused on treating others with honesty and respect. We got our start as a catastrophe claims company, but we grew quickly and success came pretty quickly for us. So since then, um, we now handle over 100,000 claims annually and we have worked every major catastrophe in the last two decades. We also have a full spectrum daily claims handling service across the United States. And um, although Eberl has grown immensely in the last 32 years, we still always and always have, always will fall back on those core foundations of treating others with honesty and respect. Eberl has a nationwide footprint. We handle claims in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. Um, I think this is one of the things that makes Eberl unique in terms of other IA firms. Um, throughout the years, we have experienced servicing a number of the top 10 insurance carriers. Um, our solid client base provides us with ample work opportunities. So not only do we handle residential claims, we also have opportunities with auto, and we also have opportunities with those more specialized skill sets such as bodily injury and commercial. We are a company that is powered by our people, but we are driven by technology, and we have a culture that is built on a continuous improvement mindset. Though we have a long history of handling and offering claims adjustment services, um, we do believe that by leveraging technology, we can seek to find better ways to service um, our carriers and those claims. Um, we do believe that a fresh approach to how a claim is serviced is not only possible, but necessary in the industry. We not only wanna remain in business for another 32 years, but we wanna remain relevant in this business for another 32 years. Everill's commitment and dedication to training is exceptional. We continue to invest and have always invested in our Dallas training facility, our training team, as well as our training platforms as we really believe that knowledge is key. Our ability to train resources allows for us to not only grow our capacity, but be able to respond quickly in those catastrophe situations. What really makes Eberl unique is our staffing team. We have a team of people who are really dedicated to the success of the adjuster. Um, they know that getting the right resource with the right skill set to the claim is imperative to success. We get a lot of people that come in and out of our doors here, and they always ask, you know, what do I do? 
do next? What what do I this this getting into this career is just so it's a maze. It's really hard to figure out which way to go. Do we turn left or we turn right? How many licenses do we need? What uh, certifications do we need? How do I get started? And our team is really committed to coaching the adjuster through and, and adding that personal touch. So if anyone is is ever questioning what do I do next, especially along their journey with Everill, get on the phone, call us. Our staffing specialists are certainly there to help. Um, when you're deployed, you are not out there on an island. We have a large team that is dedicated to the adjuster success and they really do care. There, there are probably three big reasons as to why this job inspires me so much and why I get so excited about this line of work. One is that we you know, here at Everill never forget what we're actually doing and the impact that we're actually making on lives. You know, this isn't just a job for us, but we know that we are helping people rebuild their lives and quite possibly the most devastating time of their life. So that really just gives me chill bumps. We get really excited and fired up about that. Um, another thing that just really inspires me is when um, training adjusters and that light bulb goes off and you can see that they really got it. And that that is just so fun to see and it never gets old. And then lastly, um, you know, we have adjusters that really pour their heart and soul in this. And this is going to be a career change for them and they're really excited about it. So they're developing their talent, they're putting money into their licenses and they're, you know, a lot of these adjusters don't have a ton of cash flow to spend, but this is going to be their career and they understand that in order to get in this business, they have to invest in themselves. And then when we're able to make that phone call and deploy them and all their hard work pays off, that is one of the best feelings you hear it when you hear it in their voice and they're thanking you on the phone and that just is so, it, it's, it's the most amazing feeling. Um, so we absolutely have opportunities for new adjusters. In fact, I think another thing that makes Everill unique is that we have a deployment strategy. It's really important to us to, to adhere to this deployment strategy because what it allows us to do is grow our capacity and deploy new adjusters throughout the entire year and not just in those large hurricane events which you hear a lot of times with other vendors is um, you, you gotta wait for that catastrophe to get your start. And I'm not saying that we don't, you know, we don't have those, those trials as well, but with this deployment strategy, it really helps us get adjusters out throughout the entire year. We understand that um, growing our talent pool with new adjusters is critical to the success of Abril. Okay, just jumping in here real quick. If you like what you're seeing so far, be sure to hit the like button. And if you know somebody who you think might find value in this video, be sure to share it with them on social media. Okay, back to Taylor's interview. So what we're looking for when we are looking to deploy a new adjuster is really just that spark. Someone who says, you know, I understand this is a new career for me. I am interested in, in developing my talent. It's pretty easy, you know, after doing this for a while to be able to pick out of a lineup someone who has that spark. I'll tell you a story a few months ago, probably about six months ago, we had someone come in here and we had a large class of people and, you know, they're, they're talking to each other and kind of figuring out, you know, networking, figuring out um, you know, what, what do you do now or what did you used to do and they're telling their stories about you know this is this is this is how I make my money now and they asked one of our adjusters who's currently working for us now you know what do you do and he says I'm an adjuster and I thought that was really cool because he had never handled a claim in his life but he had really committed to I'm an adjuster this that's what I do and now he's out working we were able to get him out and um, he's actually been a really great resource for us. so when an adjuster is onboarded um, they are going to hear from us and they're gonna hear from us a lot um, we are the company that we hear all the time that Everill's always talking to me we are not going to be sitting out there going gosh I wonder what Everill's up to because we're constantly sending you some sort of an email letting you know your next steps. We're going to have a series of minimum requirements and things like that to complete. Just kind of the things that we got necessary to do business. We got to get you onboarded. From there, we're going to be talking to you about our training programs and the trainings that are upcoming and that what we're offering. And we hope that we can get you to attend those things. And from there, we're really going to take you by the hand and show you the next steps. And as long as you are following what we're asking you to do and calling us if you have a question, you should have no problems getting started in this business. Everill has really all the training that one would need to get started in the business. And so, you know, we're a little, we're really a one-stop shop. Not only do we have the training facility, but we've got the clients to back it. You know, I recommend that an adjuster do their research and certainly spend their money however they see fit and whatever is within their budget. But just understand that, that we're the one-stop shop. And if you need anything, um, certainly give us a call and we're certainly happy to provide that information for you and that training. So as an adjuster to get started with the company, we really want to see that this is a career for you because this is a career change. There's going to be a lot to it. There's going to be a lot of sacrifices. There's going to be money spent up front. Um, so I would say be realistic about your expectations because you will hear it because your cousin's brother said that they made $200,000 in two months. 
that's just simply not realistic. And I don't want to set anyone's expectations up to think that that is, you know, that's something that they, they are going to do. Um, this is not a, this is not a career decision that's something just fly by night. This is really a kind of a lifestyle change. And so we've got to be realistic about those expectations. You know, a lot of time on the road, holidays and, and weekends, you know, not spent with the family, you miss a cookout, you know, you may miss a birthday. Um, but it is, it is a sacrifice and it is lucrative, but we also want to set realistic expectations um, on that front as well. So I say if if you, you know, apply to our company and we will certainly walk you through the process, but it is also going to be up to you to invest in yourself professionally and also have those realistic expectations. So if you ask me what licenses do you need, I'm going to tell you all of them. And then you're going to say all of them. I don't just have a checkbook of my, I can just write a check every day. So what I would say is you at the, the bare, bare minimum, you've got to get your home state, your resident home state or a designated home state license. And from there, that's going to give you some reciprocity benefits. So you've got to get that. What I would then do is I would go and look at all the states in which you're reciprocal with and then the ones that you're not reciprocal with. And then I would really focus on trying to get those quickly, um, like New York. New York is almost like a golden ticket. You got to have that license. That is a really great license to have um, because there's not many people that have that. It, it's a difficult process. It's a difficult license to get. Um, and so if you have that, that's setting yourself kind of above the rest. So I'm going to tell you to get all the licenses, but ultimately, um, if you at least get that designated home state or your resident home state and then look at your reciprocity and then the ones that are not as easy to get, go and get those. It's really important to have the licenses, especially to get your start. Um, the licenses, if you're brand new and you don't have any experience, those licenses are what's really going to set you apart and give you that leg up. You know, if you are interested in developing your talent, and if you are interested in growing and, and just investing in yourself, and if you're realis realistic about the cyclical nature of this business, then you just might have that spark and you just might have whatever is looking for and we just can't wait to meet you. Okay, question of the day. Have you considered using an LLC to run your IA business? Why or why not? Let's chat about it in the comments where you're watching this video. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.